Hello and welcome back to the city of Atlantis in City Skylines. And what we have here today is a traffic fix that was actually unexpected. This happened in the live stream, which by the way happens every, every Saturday at 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Uh, but we were building this area in the live stream, which you haven't seen if you don't watch the live streams yet but I'll do a full showcase of this area. But what was happening, all the traffic going to this area that you can see was getting stuck. And because the, we didn't have like a very good uh, way into this area. So what I decided to do, I copied one of the T interchanges that we had in another area that I have built manually. And I'm really proud of this T interchange and I'm actually changing that into something that can fit into this area and that work as well as it was working for the other area that we have it. So the idea here is that having a direct way into the area without like crossings or um, the cars getting in each other's way would make the traffic flow a lot better. This was one of the issues. The other issue was that when getting into this area, you were right there. Like there was uh, no easy way to spread the traffic. So this is something that we'll be looking as well in uh, this little fix. So for now, I'm just making all the highway connections in here, making sure that all the cars had a, a proper way to go through and that they could just flow. Doing lane mathematics, adjusting the roads, removing the trees from the middle of the highway as well and all that sort of stuff. But then I've removed the roads that we don't need anymore because we have the connection to the left side. And then finally making that connection. As you can see, the highway is already working. It's all flowing. And I'm just making sure that we have all the proper setup. I'm doing um, um, lane mathematics in there as well. And as you can see, this is the traffic that we, we had that was, wasn't really visible at the beginning. But we made the connections and then the next step was how can I make the traffic go around this and go where they want without having to go through the other area of the city and come back, which was basically causing a lot of issues as well. So then, obviously, our good old friend Roundabout came into play and saves the day. <laughs> so I diminished the connections that we had in the roundabout. I didn't want like five connections in there. So we just have three, uh, one way in and out on the right side and one way out to the left. And then we will have like other connections to the other areas from those lanes as well, using lane mathematics and making all that good mambo jumbo that we always do. So. With that done, the next step would make sure that like the slope here is crazy. So we had to make sure that all our connections are properly done and that we had the slope and that we had a really nice, gentle way of going around. That's why we're going to the right, curving to the left and going around like that, the mountain, just to work with the terrain a little bit. And obviously that is this one on the right side that we need to fix which is quite intense. It's almost like a, they, they sound like a cliff and we don't want that. So I moved the roads a little bit further back and now I'm doing the, that curve a little bit more gentle as well. So cars wouldn't struggle to get into the, um, the roads to get that fits into the roundabout. And then obviously we make that a slope and which is what we are doing now. And first I try bring the slope all the way back there and then I didn't like the angle that we had. So I actually bring that further one back so I could control the angle a little bit more in there, which looks good. And using old controller we that can make those connections uh, a slope, which then looks a lot better. And that's how it looks now. So with that done, traffic flowing there was a lot of cars stuck in that um in that traffic on the highway this highway which we don't have anymore so that just means that we 
have all the cars flowing through and there is a lot of traffic in here and as you can see on this little timeline uh, there is a lot of waiting time in here that's why I'm speeding this up because as you can see cars are starting to flow and flow and flow and the traffic is going down and down it's just like a lot of cars that were uh, stuck in traffic before that had to go through but while uh, waiting to to see what happened and as you can see traffic is gone now and we are much better i could see that we still had like some cars waiting a little bit longer in the in these junctions and that's basically because of the pedestrians crossing over there so what i decided to do was basically add a uh, pedestrian crossway in here and then I would remove the crossings from the other areas where we don't need pedestrians. So this one we're still having because we need them to cross into the pedestrian crossing or bridge that we have in there. But now what I'm doing is adding a, another pedestrian crossing in here so they can actually cross and access that, easily access that. This is far away from the uh, way that the highway will get into this area. So that's fine to have them crossing here. But then in this area, we are eliminating crossings over here. If they want to go around, they go through the bridge that we just built. Otherwise, they, they can go through here. Like, no way. This is just for cars. This is a car-centric junction, not pedestrian. <laughs> but with that, we solve the traffic in this area and they're all going through. Now, final details, making sure that we do the detailing for the uh, for this interchange and that we have access, uh, everything looks good. But let's jump into the live view so you can see exactly what I've done and I can do an overview of the area. And here we are. This is the live stream area that we are building by the way, again, live stream every Saturday at 8 p.m. You are more than welcome to join and give your suggestions on how to build all of this. This is all based on comments and um, ideas from the viewers during the live stream. So please feel free to join and see how that goes. So these are the chains. I think there is just one thing and this is this extra lane that goes in here straight so we can relieve the roundabout a little bit further the roundabout is still used for anyone coming from this way so they can come in here go around and get in there and but the other side they have a straight way into this area or this if they wish to do so so with this no more traffic in this highway no more traffic backing up there's quite a lot of cars coming through here which is quite nice as well and this area is pretty busy so this is actually looking pretty good i've also added a retaining wall in here just for safety reasons this was pretty steep and very close to the roundabout there is a lot of detailing that we'll do on the live stream again but this is how this is all working so t interchange we have a split in this t interchange this time that direct the traffic to where they want to go and this at least for me this all makes sense we haven't changed this area yet it's still working so i won't bother just for your understanding this is just a service road so there are no other vehicles than um like garbage trucks postal um fire trucks or police that can use that so and I just noticed someone that should be using this. What are you doing here? Or mining truck, you shouldn't be going there because that's definitely not allowed. As you can see, all the trucks there shouldn't be using it. Uh, but anyway, this sometimes some people will do it. So nothing that we can do about a little bit of traffic in here, but this will, as you can see, this will flow through quite quickly, which is quite nice to see. And then we don't have any problems in this area at all. So really, really happy with the outcome of this. And the reason why I didn't did, did 
I didn't do this fix during the live stream was basically because, well, it took me around three and a half hours to redo this. To do this all in a live stream would be really boring. There was a lot of waiting time to see where traffic was going, was coming from, going to, and waiting to see if a small fix would help one area or the other. And then it's really, really boring and just like waiting to see traffic going. So then I decided to do this quick episode to show you how that all works and what I've done so you can have some ideas. Maybe this helps you out as well on what you're doing. But there we go. Our new tea interchange is actually working quite well and traffic is flowing. This area is has no problem at all, nor this area. This highway is working. Sometimes we have a little bit of backup in here, but as you can see, they just keep going, keep flowing, no big issues there. And yeah, all working. I'm really happy with the outcome. So let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about this or comments, uh, leave in the comment section. And don't forget to leave a like and also maybe consider watching the video on your screen because I think you might like that. So thanks again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.